Alright guys, so um, I got in my tag yesterday, or well today actually because I just checked the mail today, but they came yesterday um, since today is Sunday. Um, so I wanted to share those with you. Um, this, bleh, this is from the tag swap um, that I did with Carlene Pink Scrapper 99 um, and I was in the beginning group. So I'm really excited. I got my tags today. I already showed you guys um, the tags I had made. And again, I did not um, make one for myself, so I don't have one to show. So I just have the ones that the lady sent me, which is fine. So, sorry, I'm a little out of source this morning. Alright, so here's the first one. How pretty. And uh, she didn't say who sh whose picture she used, so I'm guessing maybe she used a family member. Um, which is really awesome. Really nice picture. And then it's got a little bit of a shimmery glaze to it, so I'm not sure what she used over that. And then here's a flower and a little stick pin. And then this paper, I have this paper. I love that paper. Some lace at the bottom. And then the back, beautiful page, a little paper flower out of music. Love that. And then I'm going to guess, I don't really know, but is this, um, gotta be a graphic 45 surely but I don't know if that's a Lee Romantique collection or if that's another collection I don't know that collection very well so that's that and then here is a little tag that she put in and then it's got her information on the back and this one was from Teresa and um, she doesn't have a YouTube information on the back of that so just email so that was really really love that in the gold so really pretty. Thank you, Teresa. I love it. Let's see, and then the next one. This is Legendary Lena Horn. I love this. What a great picture. And she's such a pretty lady. Or was such a pretty lady, I guess. She still is, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and then she also is painted over it, which is really nice. You know, I didn't paint over my picture. I didn't think about that. I just left it, you know, ordinary. But I like this how it um creates that glaze over it and it protects the picture. So that was really smart of you ladies to do that. And this is really cool. She's got like a dotted background. I'm not sure if she ran that through a cuddle bug or something of that sort or whatever. And here's the bag. It's just got her information on it. So this is from Shanta. I wonder if it's Shanta or Shante. So sorry if I said that wrong. <laughs> But there's her information. So thank you. Love that. Alright, and then my next one. I love this one too. Um, Judy Garland. She's got two pictures. And I love how she set it into this um, the die cut. And I think this is a Sizzix die cut. Um, and then she actually also put it onto, she cut it out of corrugated cardboard, which is so cool. So it gives that raised effect. And then at the bottom it says, In the silence of night, I have often wished or just a few words of love from one man rather than the applause of thousands of people. So really, really nice. And then she put some red and black and white fibers and then a flower here. Really, really pretty. And then here's the bag and it's just got her information on the back. And it's cool how she did the bag. I don't know if she... Sorry, I'm looking at her chipboard. It's her chipboard is like is all black actually. And it looks like she sanded this or... So, I, mean, I like the feel of it where she sanded it, so it's cool. And this is my last one. This is, for, uh, let me see. Well, first it was packaged in this little, you know, cellophane. It had this little cute purse that's glittered. Um, so that was a free little die cut for us that she put on there. That's the back. Here's the front. And this is what makes you different makes you beautiful. And then here's this pretty picture. This is a really just beautiful tag. Um, she's got a lot on here. She's got this little round um, wooden button piece. It's got a stamped image. And then this flourish, flower flourish. Really pretty. And then she's got feathers. And then I love this paper that she's used in the background. And she's distressed it at the edge. And it's got a little bit of glitter shine to it. And then she put this tool at the top. Really pretty really pretty and love these colors the vintagey colors the pink and then here's the back how pretty is that you guys here's a little 
shoe box with a shoe on the top and then a price tag and then the dress form and then she used some pretty paper distressed it painted it gold flower at the top that's super cute and then uh, all these flowers on here all this and the little beads and everything all that works so pretty and these ones have some stickles on it it's real pretty and then this little paper bag with the image on it and then she's got two tags in this one she actually has this one which has the knit one ticket on the front and her information on the back and this is from Crystal she does have a YouTube address so I'll be going to check her out on YouTube and then she Glimmer, well she, I think she, um, I say Glimmer Mist, but I believe she used one of the moon shadows because it's got a two-toned effect. Looks like one I have. <laughs> and then another tag, which is a journaling tag. So it's got this lady on the front. And then this is a really, I love this quote. It says, be yourself, everyone else is taken. Love that quote. And then it's just got this on there. It says, admit one, admission, excuse me. And then it's got this library pocket stamp, and I love that. I wish I had that. I'll have to ask her where she got that or do a search for that because I love that that's so cute so that just goes back in there and then in there and then again so just really pretty tags from all the ladies I'm really really excited this was my first tag swap so I hope all the ladies like theirs as well I had a lot of learning experiences in that as you guys know um, but I also wanted to ask um, how you guys display your tags because honestly you know again I only had the one I made for myself not too long ago and then I've got um, these ones so I don't actually have anywhere that I'm displaying them I don't have the hangers um, those are on a wish list um, so I'm looking for alternative ways of how you guys are you know, displaying them or hanging them or whatnot. Um, so I'd love to hear those ideas, what you ladies think. Um, so that's it for now. So thanks for checking it out. And again, thank you so much, ladies. And thank you, Carlene, for um, hosting this. So I'll see you later.